So welcome back once again. This is Kevin from Construction Scale Model Imports in Australia today doing uh, a start function on the VLV360 excavator. So thank you for your comments, your emails and your questions. Last video we actually spoke about uh, the internals and the upgrades on this particular machine. On this one or on this video we will go through the start sequence uh, of this machine so you can actually see what modifications have been done and how to actually start it. So uh, we're using a, a 3S 11.1 volt battery with an XT60 connector that's what the factory sends it out with so you need an XT60 connector uh, and that's the battery so what we're going to do is first we will will power the radio so here you go we're using a Futaba FX22 radio the radio has been modified for um, a 3D joystick so uh, that's the radio we're going to use so we power the radio first the next thing we're going to do is we're going to plug the battery in now you probably heard the door close up here in the sound system and on this particular machine you must hear the beep so that the speed controller is armed and is ready for operation I will go through the sound function first so here you'll hear the sound and the horn Now, uh, you, can, you can assign the sound or the cranking function to any switch on this particular radio or you could assign the joysticks to any function you wanted it to. It doesn't really matter. Uh, one more important thing is people ask us what sort of oil is used in this. T68 hydraulic oil is what we recommend. It's a pretty good oil. It's got the right viscosity. It's not too thick. It's not too thin. It'll lubricate the system well and will do the job pretty well. But... If you actually go into your local automotive shop, doesn't matter where you are, and ask them for hydraulic oil that they have, and if you tell them T68, they should be able to have something, or even hydraulic oil from the jack uh, should be fine to operate this machine. So, uh, start function once again. So, there you go, we've got, the, we got this engine starting, here's the horn. Okay, uh, we have assigned the hydraulic pump to this knob so that we can actually control uh, our revs on the pump or what RPM we want the pump to run at. So, that's the pump running up there. And now... So as you can see, it's more realistic, um, I'm just going to wind the pump down, it's more realistic when you actually have the sound, so there's no pump now, but you know, uh, I'll get some pressure on. Put some more pressure on the pump. So you can see it's uh, when you got proportional sound is definitely um, more fun uh, to drive this machine because you almost feel like you're right driving a real machine. Well, let's try to get the camera a little bit more into focus so we can actually see uh, this bucket. Uh, the speed on the tracks is pretty high, so I'll try to control it actually because... So 
so I need to reduce the speed on the tracks uh, which can be done through the radio we have used the slides up here to control the tracks uh, up here now the next thing I want to show you is to do three functions I'm going to try to do three functions at the same time to show you that there is enough of uh, oil in the circuit to carry out the three functions So what I'll do is I'll try to expand all the three cylinders and I'll try to contract the three cylinders at the same time so that uh, we can see that this, this is possible. Okay, so I'll bring it a bit more closer and you can see three functions are achievable at the same time. So there you go. So you, there is enough of fluid dynamics with this pump and this control valve. So you're not starving your system of all and you can perform three functions. The boom, the stick and the bucket at the same time. So there you go. Also, the smoothness with this hydraulics is pretty good. That to give you a, a, a demo, I'm going to try to grab this particular book uh, with the excavator bucket. Okay, so. There you go. So to show you, just to demonstrate that if you have the right touch on the joysticks, you can even achieve this. And I'm just trying to... Okay, now the next test I want to show you that the machine has got enough of power with the boom fully extended you can still lift the tracks which i think is pretty impressive so here we go I'm going to increase the hydraulic pressure. So that's with the boom fully extended. So I think that's that's pretty impressive to be able to lift the entire machine's weight at the total boom fully expanded. So there is a fair bit of hydraulic pressure uh, that you can actually get. So that's what we have uh, in this particular video. We have wound the pump down and we shut the engine off. So thanks for watching.
As always, if you have any questions, please feel free to email us at info at csmi.com.au or you can visit the website which is www.csmi.com.au All the accessories, the functions, whatever you have seen, you can buy this through our website uh, and you can get techni technical support through us if you get stuck for anything and we ship worldwide. Thank you for watching.